Last year we had the sticker available for the RV-15. We did a couple presentations. We talked about what the plan was, what our intent was, and where we were going. We told everyone that it was going to be a high-wing, backcountry, all-metal airplane with a control stick. We said it would be a tail dragger. We said eventually we'd have a tricycle model. Well, now we've done a little bit more than that. The RV-15 is here at AirVenture. We've gone through the process since we made that announcement last year of finishing the design and building the airplane and getting it in the air and flying through the test period, flying it here to AirVenture and putting it on the booth. And we're really, really excited about the new airplane. You know, we've been flying it back in Oregon for a while at the factory and uh, we got to fly it here. And yesterday we got to unveil it in front of everybody and we had a huge crowd of people and it was pretty exciting. And uh, engineers are having a great time getting sunburnt sitting around the airplane and explaining over and over and over again to people some of the really cool features that are part of this airplane. The airplane has a 36 foot wingspan. It's a big wing compared to anything else we've made. It has great big flaps. I've seen it take off in well under 400 feet a whole bunch of times, right? It lands nice and short. It has a really nice, fairly benign stall. Axel Alvarez is our professional test pilot. He's the only one that's flown it. And everything that he said is that it's a great flying airplane and that it performs really, really well. I can tell you, I've watched the thing climb and even at a low manifold pressure in order to keep the speed down where we wanted it in some early test phases, it was going up like a rocket ship. It's just an elevator. So the whole goal is to get the airplane to be as fast as we can possibly make it. And the target is 140 knots. And then also to get it so that it can take off at as short a distance as possible and land at as short a distance as possible and still meet that overall design requirement for total performance. You know, we, want, we want you to be able to get there pretty darn quick. We want you to be able to get in and out of the spots that you want to go with this airplane. And, and uh, we're really encouraged what we've seen so far. But we anticipate that the first kits would be available. We don't know which kit that'll be. Most likely, maybe a tail or a wing, but that would be available sometime in the 12 to 18 month time frame. But that's an estimate, right? It's not a, not a commitment or a guarantee because what could happen between now and then, if we need to make changes and refinements, we're not going to release kits on a specific timeline that we announce a year, year and a half ahead of time. We're gonna release the kits when it's ready to go and when it's right. I'm super excited about this airplane. It's been really fun to be part of this process from beginning to end so far through this prototype. Uh, we have a bunch of really talented people at Vans that are just genuinely good people, as well as really incredible engineers and technicians that are just doing a lot of great work. And it's a super exciting airplane that I'm really excited to build, having seen this one built, and I'm even more excited to fly. It's gonna be a pretty cool airplane. I'm, I'm happy about it. Welcome to Vorotofly. We create high-end flight controls, premium flight panels, and affordable certified flight simulators. From the user at home, the enthusiast, up to the most professional flight schools, and anyone in between. Check out our complete portfolio from the Yoko to Yoke up to turnkey personalized solutions here on the website and contact us for any further information.